All right, so I got this nice mink here. I'll be skinning, fleshing, and stretching up. I already got a video on skinning one, but I'll, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you in one complete video of skin, flesh, and stretching one. So the first thing I did was I put the tail into the vise here. I got my knife here, and what I'm gonna do is go from heel right up to the side of the vent and go up the tail from both legs. Just like this. Do the same to the other side. You know, connect those lines. Now after you got those two cuts made there, I'm gonna go right underneath the vent and, and connect those two lines and make a triangle there. Just like that. So now I'll just start by skinning this down. Grab my other skin knife here. I'll skin out these legs. You can see this is a male, so a nice big muck buck mink here. The males are always worth more than the females. They're always bigger. Alright, so now I got my fingers through, I'll just pull this out. I'll cut this spur off at the end of the foot here. Do the same to this side. Just work it around with my hands. It's probably the easiest. Cut this one off too. Now I'll start working around the tail a little bit so we can strip the bone out of the tail. Got a little meat connected here, I'll have to tr trim that here. So I got it worked behind the tail here. So now I'll take them out of the vise. I'm gonna put my tail stripper into the vise. Set the bone in the stripper with the fur on the outside. And I'll just pull this tail off by pulling on the tailbone. All right. I'll move the vise back. Now I'm gonna put the feet in the device this time. I'll finish skinning them out. All right, so I'm gonna separate some of this fatty area here in the front on the belly side. A little bit on the side here. I'll just start pulling this hide down. Slice the belly open a little bit, but. Let's 
pull it down until you get to the front feet. All right, so we got the feet here. I'll just hook my finger underneath, my thumb, pull them. Cut the, I, I pulled it to where you got this joint here showing. And now I'll just cut right in front of the fingernails underneath the hide. Do the same on this side. Now we'll start by skin out this neck and head here. So I'll just pull on it. If it doesn't pull, just start trimming some of this membrane. Mink's got a long neck, so you have to trim them down a little ways so you get to the ears. Here you can see I got an ear right there. So I'll just trim that off. Let's see there's a small ear hole there, so I got that ear trimmed. Do the same on this side. I'll be coming down to the eyes. All right, you can see both eyes will be right there. So I'll just start by cutting those out. Just make sure you cut them far enough back so you don't hopefully don't big eye them so they look nice after you get them stretched up. I got those eyes cut out pretty nice. Just continue around. Now we'll be cutting, you don't need the bottom jaw on a mink too, so we'll be cutting that off. So now we can cut the bottom jaw off. Here we got, you can see the teeth and the fur opening up. So you'll just make a cut from the bottom of the jaw here and straight across both sides. And that'll cut off that jaw, you don't need it. So now we'll pull it out to the nose, and when you get to the nose, just cut it straight off. So now we got this mink all scone out. We can start by flushing them and then we'll put them on a board. All right, so I got my mink on the beam here. I don't have a special beam for flushing on a mink, so I'll just have to lay them on top of my bigger beam. So I'll just be using a necker flushing knife and uh, I'll start by with one foot up and then I'll flush this side out I'll flip it around with the other foot up and then I'll do the back and the belly so you'll start by taking off this little cheek meat here and you'll come down and you'll see this red meat here it's called the saddle you'll want to leave that on you don't have to take that off so first I'm just gonna scrape some of this cheek meat off Just use your dull edge, you don't need a sharp edge on the on skin and a mink, really. It's kind of tough without a special beam for one. Alright, so I got down to the shoulder here. Fat underneath the armpit and scrape that off. Got some fat down at the bottom here. On a mink, you don't really need to scrape any meat off unless you got some big chunks. It's mainly just the fat. All 
right, so that's pretty good. I'll flip them over with the other foot facing up. Keep the tail off to the side. You don't want to get a bunch of fat on it. So I'll start with this cheek meat again. It's kind of, yeah, it is pretty difficult without an actual beam. You just kind of rest yourself against it. it hopefully it won't slide down. So now we'll come to the shoulder here. Scrape off this fat underneath the armpit. Quite a bit of fat down here at the bottom. Scrape off. here from the legs break that off just make sure you get everything off so you don't want your hide rotten after you put all the work into skinning them out pretty good. Take a look at the back. Not really a whole lot going on in the back here. Just, I'll just run run it a couple times down the back. But yeah, there's not much on here. Kind of scrape that saddle a little bit. Try not to do that. Got a little piece of meat from the leg on the bottom here I'll take off. That's pretty good. Check out the belly. A little fat there underneath the armpit. Wipe my blade off here. And that's pretty much it. You don't really have to do much with the man. Just get the fat off. You want to leave the saddle on. So now we'll start by putting them on a board. All right, so I'm going to be putting this in on the stretcher now. So I haven't stripped the tail yet. All I do is I just take my knife, run it down the tail, make a nice straight cut. All the way to the tip of the tail. And before you start putting it on your stretcher, when you're doing minks, you're gonna have a male and a female board. So the difference between them is this fem This is the female board, this is the male board. We got a male here, so we'll be using this board, but you can see that this female board is just a little bit smaller than the male board because they're a bigger mink. So I'll be using the male board on this one because it's a nice buck mink. So I'll just slide them onto the board. Get them nice and straight. That looks pretty good. So I'll start by pinning out this the belly side here. You'll have you'll make your window here, so you'll put two pins on the side and you'll cut out a nice window here. So first I'll take this is where the leg was, you'll have these two strips where the legs were, so you'll pin those down. Start by pinning this side. Get this nice and pulled down. I'll pin the other side. And for now, I'm 
you don't need a, you won't be pinning this so because we'll be cutting it out for the window so I'll just leave it and that and then I'll cut it out after I got it all pinned out so I'll flip it over and we'll put two pins on each side of the tail here just to keep it from pulling up Then we'll pin out this tail. This tail takes quite a few pins. So start in the top, do one on each side. Just pin it all the way down, spacing these out probably about three quarters of an inch, half inch. Pin out the tail, just make sure you keep it nice and straight. Try not to go off to one side. My dad actually caught this mink. I don't have any sets out right now. I will be getting some sets out this weekend because beaver opens. I'll be making some videos. Hopefully I'll catch a few nice sized beaver. I'll also get some muskrat sets out. All right. So I got the tail all pinned out. Now we'll go flip around and we'll cut this window out on the belly. So how I do that is I'll go, I'll just put my finger underneath here and I'll go up maybe about three, four inches, start making the cut. And I'll just start rounding it, go straight down to your pins. That's how you make a nice window on them. And that's basically it on a mink. So now I'll just hang him up, let him dry for probably about four days to a week, depending on how hot it is outside. And then you'll be ready to sell to your local buyer at the auction. So thanks for watching, please subscribe.